What up, everybody? Pop Room TG. Did you record? Yes. Are you sure? Because <laughs> I thought you just hit preview. No. We're recording. It's recording. Nice. All right. Good job, Dan. Off to a great start. What up, everybody? Popper MTG with Dan and Rob coming back at you with a new deck. Uh, this time we're playing with some treasure hunt shenanigans. Oh boy! Uh, so kicking this off, we have forty-six lands. The most lands in the format. How do? You, probably, yeah. Uh, how do you even win with all these lands? Uh, we're about to find out. Well, before we start here, let's uh, let's do some backstory behind this deck. All right, sure. So, be me, right? A few days ago, browsing the Reddit because I'm creatively bankrupt. Yep. And I see this thread, this cool little deck that abused a glitch with Library of Lang and cycling to uh, mill your opponents. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. You know, you don't see a glitchy deck every day that sometimes apparently can win. Mm. And then I find out today that apparently you can get banned for uh, abusing glitches. Right. So without any other deck that I had prepared, I, uh, I scrambled at the last moment to cobble together this monstrosity. So this one does not use any glitches. Yep. However, it still abuses Treasure Hunt to hopefully do some cool stuff. And the deck's called Treasure Hunt, so how can you go wrong? Absolutely. Um, all right, let's kick this off. We got four Evolving Wilds. Tap it to sacrifice it and search your library for a basic land card and put it into the battlefield tapped. This is good because we like having lands, apparently. Combos with Helmar Depths. That's is right. something you don't want. You just shuffle, shuffle it. it away. Forgotten Cave enters the battlefield tap. You add a red, or you can pay a red to cycle it. Uh, if we have too many lands, which is a problem I don't foresee happening at all, but just in case it does... Uh, We've got this to cycle a land that we don't need. Well, this is a card that helps make our deck even more consistent. You're Basically, right. this deck is just supposed to be the most consistent thing in the world. Absolutely. And un unbeatable, right? Right. Yeah, the turn four kill every time. Yep. <laughs> uh, then we got four Halimar Depths. Enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you look at the top three cards of your library and put them back in any order. This is like a free ponder, but you don't draw the card, and you can't shuffle them away without involving wilds. So it's basically ponder. It's basically <laughs> ponder. I don't see how this isn't ponder. Uh, then we've got three islands, lower one art as always. Four is it boiler works, enters the battlefield tapped. When enters the battlefield, return a land you control to its owner's hand. And then you add blue and red to your mana pool. This just sort of allows you to uh, replace some of your utility lands, mm. which we have a few. <clears throat> we've got a few of those. Then we got two colony garden, enters the battlefield tapped. When enters the battlefield, you get a zero one plant creature token. Uh, chumps. It jumps, basically that's why that card's here. Uh, says, like, I don't know, like for some reason if you want to protect your whirlpool rider from a sack effect, that right. I guess. <laughs> you need to do that. Uh, then we got four lonely sandbar, a blue forgotten cave. We got two mortuary mire, enters the battlefield tap. When it does, you can put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. It says, get back in here, whirlpool rider, you're not done yet. Also a small combo with uh, the cycling land, so you can get your whirlpool rider back Immediately. and uh, cycle it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we got three mountains, four quicksand, uh, tap it at a general. You can sacrifice it to uh, give target attacking target attacking creature without flying minus one, minus two, and element of turn. It's removal, kind of. <laughs> it's like, a, it's removal. It's, it's basically It's removal. removal. Uh, we got two remote isles. Uh, this is bad, lonely sandbar. <laughs> well, more. it cycles for general, so I mean, I guess, you can dump red But it's it two general, cycles. even. Well, that's why we're not running four of that one day. Exactly. <laughs> uh, then we got four Skyline Cascade. And when it enters the battlefield, target creature an opponent controls doesn't untap until it's during its controller's next untap step. That's pretty good. It's uh... This card's impressed me. This is like the most spell-like land I've seen so far. You're right. I didn't even know this existed. Yeah, I mean, like, stall the game out till you can win is basically what this card reads. <laughs> yep. And it's also a land, so cool. Yep. We got two smaller ring crater. Uh... Bad, um... It cost me 20 cents to buy cave. a playset of these. Why did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Felt like it. It's what the deck list said, so I had to do it. Actually, the deck list had black, Dan, so it didn't even use this card. Wow. This is 100% Rob creation. Oh my god. And then we got four Terramorphic Expanse, uh, literally Evolving Wilds. M10 shout out. Yeah. It's like pretty much right when I started playing Magic. That's right. Actually, it was the tail end of 10th edition. It was Lorwyn's thing. That's right, because he played your crazy goat deck. Everyone was impressed. They called it Goat Brew. I yep. didn't get the joke at the time, but now I do. <laughs> uh, and then we got uh, moving on to one drops. We don't have very many of them, just four. We got Library of Lang. 
Uh, one mana cost artifact. You have no maximum hand size, which is good for when we fill up on lands with our treasure hunt. Uh, if an effect causes you to discard a card, discard it, but you may put it on top of your library instead of into your graveyard. Uh, how the glitch works with the mill version is uh, when you cycle your lands, right? Yeah. You're supposed to draw a card before you discard that, but uh, the way it works in MTGO is that the li if you use the replacement effect for Library of Lang, Mm. When you cycle, the uh, cycled card goes on top of your library first, and then you can draw it again. So it effectively allows you to quote unquote fireball mill your opponents by just cycling your lands over and over again. Mm -hmm. with, like Jace's Erasure, right? Yeah, with Jace's Erasure, obviously. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's, but uh, this deck does not do any glitchy shenanigans like that. It's safe. This deck yep, is safe. This is Wizards. I we, know you're watching this. <laughs> we're not cheaters, okay? Popper Fox, I know you're out to get us in any way you possibly can, but no, not today. No, right? we we don't cheat. We've never cheated, not once. I condemn cheating. Yep. Cheating is bad. Yep. Uh, moving on, two drops. We got four treasure hunt. Pay two. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Then put all cards revealed this way into your hand. You'll notice that we run a lot of lands. That way we can draw a lot of cards, and hopefully we'll get a library of laying in there too, otherwise we'll be pretty fucked. Unless well, we're running four libraries of laying. <laughs> we really want this. We don't not want that. Right. Uh, we got two Whirlpool Rider. Uh, one, one for two. When it enters the battlefield, shuffle the cards from your hand into your library, then draw that many cards. Uh, this is kind of cool in the mill version, because unlike Tolarian wins, this uh, shuffles them back in. Right. So even if you're at like one card in hand, you have like 50 cards in your Or one card in library and 50 cards in hand, you can still play this guy and not mill yourself. Yeah. Back. Yeah, we don't want to be playing Tolarian wins in this deck. That would be really bad. No, but in this deck, it sort of offers... It plays sort of like a fifth and sixth treasure hunt in that like you fill up your hand with the first one, and then you can play this guy and just try and reach your spiraling embers. Right. Uh, we've got two muddle the mixture. Two mana, counter target instant or sorcery spell. Or you can transmute it for three, where you discard it. Search your library for a card with the same converted mana cost and uh, reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. You can only do it as a sorcery. Um, this is to get us treasure hunts and whirlpool riders. Yeah, or counter <laughs> something. If we, we could also counter an instant or sorcery spell with it. Um, and then the, the coup de grace. Is that how you say that? I think it's coup de gras. Fuck. <laughs> the coup, coup de gracie. All right. Coup de gracie uh, over here. We got the spot, 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 spot. All right, deleting like this one and then starting <laughs> no, over again. Yep. We started uh, strong, we're ending strong. For four mana, spiraling embers deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of cards in your hand, which is to say... We're going to have a lot of cards in our hand. Yep. And then we're going to kill them with that. Yep. And that's the new plan. Yep. Like, comment, subscribe, everybody. Uh, isn't this just like sudden impact? I don't. Yeah, I think it is actually. Is that the? Is, is that, that a common? Green? No, sudden impact's red. Sudden impact's red. Uh, there was that one that uh, other Rob played all the time in his decks. Yeah, sudden it was, impact. Are you sure it wasn't green? I no. I remember the artist was like a big fucking sword, and it's like red. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> moving. To all right. If the there's sideboard. a green com, uh, if there's a green sudden impact. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Alright, so onto the sideboard. You see we've got some lands in here too, just in case we don't have enough. For Bajuka Bog. Uh, <laughs> Side out those spiraling embers, boys. <laughs> yep. Uh, for once, for once, we're going to be the ones fucking over graveyard decks and not being the ones getting fucked over by graveyard hate. We might have game one, though, getting fucked over. No, 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 no. We're going to be... How could we lose? That's true. Uh, that skyline Cascade. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, you exile all cards from target player's graveyard. So, God they're for good. just fuck Grix's songs. We hate it. We hate Grix's songs. all those other decks we play, basically. <laughs> Thought Picker Witch. Spooky Graveyard Burn. Yep. <laughs> I think literally everything we play is just a <laughs> fucking graveyard deck. Well, graveyard decks are the most fun. They've printed a lot of graveyard shenanigans over the years. Um, for Radiant Fountain, when it enters the battlefield, you gain two life. Good against aggro. Or burn, and we got those, um, going back to the Is It Boiler Works, I mean, you can... We can, yeah, just keep doing it. Which is, yeah. it'll be nice against burn, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, probably. Uh, we got four Giga Drows, uh, it's a one mana instant to tap target permanent, and you can keep paying one to tap more permanents. Uh, it comes in against control, because we can use it to just tap down all their lands the turn before we want to combo off. And, uh, let's... 
talk about Replicate again. The yep. way Replicate works, boys. All right, time to drop some mad knowledge on you. That's right, I remember this. Uh, works the same way as Storm. So each time you pay that Replicate count, it counts as a different spell in the stack. So mm -hmm. if your opponent has a counter spell, they can only counter one instance of that. So say you want to force through your Spiral Embers on turn four, because this deck's so consistent, it's definitely going to get yeah, there on turn four yeah. every time. <laughs> you would uh, tap your mana and be like... Okay, I'm targeting all your lands, and if mm. they can't really counter it effectively because they're tapping more mana mm. to counter the one instance than they would just to let it be tapped down. Unless they've so. got dispels. Unless they got dispels. But then it doesn't matter because it's getting kind of tapped anyway. Yeah, basically. So anyway, yeah, this is insurance against control, and I think in this deck it's probably the most efficient than just trying to go for like a counter your counter strategy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, we've got muddled the mixture, but it's more proactive, and you know, it can come in against aggro maybe. I don't know. All right, right, moving right along. Got another muddled mixture. Uh, I guess we'd probably bring this in in the control match, too. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. In, in or... the original list, this ran two. I'm not sure why. I think it's mostly because that deck wanted to have more in the way of two drops than this one does. Right. And I only have three, and I didn't want to buy another one. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and then we got Flame Jab. Steals one damage to a richer player. It has recast, which is to say you can cast this from your graveyard by discarding a land in addition to paying its other cost. Uh, could be another uh, win con is just flame jab them to death if, if we fill up all our <laughs> yay it's perfect so what would we uh, what would we bring that in against Rob what do you think uh, it comes in against various aggros I guess sure I guess dealing one damage to target creature or player isn't bad yeah it's not bad yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see we'll it see turns it our land into pings kind of and uh, in the blue black version the mill version they ran Raven's Crime, which seems like a lot more of an efficient way to deal with that style of deck right. than the Giga Drows thing. Yeah. But, uh, we, we can't do that. Yep. This deck is worse than that one, I think, but uh, we're going to run it anyway. Because, it doesn't cheat. Because we're cowards and we don't want to get banned. Yep. <laughs> We've got some expensive cards here. We've spent a lot of time and effort and love. I've spent so much time building my popper collection, and if I lost it, I would just be heartbroken. Yeah, we'd have to turn to Patreon to get it all back. <laughs> So uh, stay tuned for our Patreon announcement video, boys, <laughs> and catch you for match one. Yeah.